Hey everybody, Stephen here. It's only me this week because Rav and I are still insanely busy and we're just struggling to find time to get together. But today I thought I'd take you through a, a real issue at the moment within the weight loss industry and that is analysis paralysis. Please like, subscribe, comment, drop in a few questions. We're here to help. Some people might look at, you know, um, people going to the gym, they're um, training, they're doing squats and deadlifts and they're doing, um, you know, all these different classes that you can do. They're uh, looking at their diet, they're refining things, they're counting their macros, they're counting all the calorie counting and everything else that goes along with that. Then they're looking at uh, maybe maybe the training that we like to showcase on social media, you know, getting out into Scotland and using the wilderness and using rocks and boulders and, and, and logs. And I'm here to say that all of that really doesn't matter right now. What matters is that you simplify some initial steps that you can take because it's action that creates results. It's not information, it's not about thinking about you know, training, thinking about improving your diet, thinking about getting to bed on time, thinking about your meditating. It's actually doing these things that have an impact. Therefore, why don't people take more action? It's because they've overcomplicated it, or because it's, it seems like it's quite a big task in their head, or that there's just too many pieces to try and fit together, therefore they do nothing at all. So what we do within our membership, and what we teach our clients is the simplification of everything. You don't have to get into the wilderness like what we do in social media. You also don't have to go to a big busy gym. All you need, well, you don't even need it, but what's handy, is a kettlebell, okay? Now, there's not much in this fitness world that's simpler than a cannonball with a handle, okay? It's literally just a big lump of cast iron, okay? This one in particular is 12 kilograms, and I should have probably thought this through before I started talking with a 12 kilogram weight in my hand. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down before we get out of breath. It's handy to have some kind of weight that we can swing, we can lift, we can press, we can push, we can pull, we can twist with. And when you have something really simple, we've designed a program around something as simple as a bit of cast iron. Suddenly, when you know exactly what you need to be doing, you can work harder at it. That is the key for your success. When it comes to your nutrition, do we want to count macros? Do we want to count the protein and fats and the carbohydrates? Counting all the calories and the fiber and the you know weighing and measuring food. I, I don't know about you, but I don't want to do that. I'd rather look at my food and understand what that food is. I'd like to look at my food and my meals and see what's that going to do for my body? What's that going to do for my health and fitness? What is that going to do for my weight loss? How am I going to feel when I'm eating that? How am I going to feel an hour after I've finished eating that? That's where true nutrition coaching comes in. It's not about counting and measuring, it's about understanding real food and real life situations. That's the key. And of course, the big one, the overall lifestyle. People think, oh, I need to be, oh, I need to, um, you know, get out walking and I need to meditate every day and I need to, you know, set a bedtime and get up in the morning and I need to be productive and I need to prepare my food. But I've got my family to think about and I've got my stress levels and I actually worry about all these emails that I've got. And it's just like, oh. Let's just chill, let's just relax. Lifestyle is absolutely vital, but one of the most important things that we can change and we can create a bit of an impact with is your stress and hormone balance. Rather than stressing out all the ins and outs, let's focus on one thing. Let's focus on one thing. It could be getting to bed on time. It could be making sure that you're drinking all your water. It could be making sure that you're taking time to breathe normally, which is overlooked quite a lot. Breathing normally, drinking all your water, these are simple things, but super effective. Rather than worrying about all the ins and outs of nutrition, all the ins and outs of the perfect training program, let's just breathe normally, let's drink lots of water, let's get to bed on time, and we start to build up. And this is called progressive coaching. This is what, exactly what we do with our membership. We start simple, week one, and we build up 
gradually over time. So by the time you come to the 12 week mark, you've built things up and you're in a position where all that's become part of your subconscious. Rather than you going, oh, I need to change everything. No, you change one thing, you let it become a habit, you change something else, you let that become a habit, you change something else, you slowly but surely build up. All you need for your fitness is a kettlebell. Okay, that's as simple as we make it. Um, when something's simple to do, you can work harder at it. When something's complicated and taxing your brain and stressing you, causing these stress hormones to circulate around your system, you're less likely to take the actions that you know you should be taking. If, if your training program's overcomplicated, you're like, ah, maybe tomorrow. If you've got something as simple as a kettlebell, you think, you know what, I can swing that around for even five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, depending on how long you've got. That's when you get the results. That's when you, you um, add habits on top of your habits, on top of your habits, on top of your habits, that in the space of three months and six months and 12 months, you're a completely new person. Simplify everything, okay? It's not just about, you don't have to join our membership, although you should, because it's awesome, okay? Um, but it's like, look at your overall lifestyle and say, am I doing everything that I know I should be doing? And more often than not, the answer is no, you're not. Probably because you're overcomplicating things. Simplify it. Do what you know you can. Remove what you know you can't. And let's make it easy. Let's lower your stress levels. Let's start to breathe more deeply. Let's hydrate every single day. Let's get to bed on time so that your brain and your body are working as efficiently as you know they're capable of suddenly results become easy. Okay, so here's your practical information. What you want to be looking at is lifestyle, exercise, and nutrition. Okay, it's a sweet spot in the middle that all your results happen. Okay, so the practicalness of this. Okay. Lifestyle, what can we do? What one simple thing can we do to improve your whole lifestyle? What is that? Let's start with breathing, okay? It can't get much simpler than that, yet most people don't breathe properly, okay? We should all be breathing when you're at rest, in and out through your nose, okay? Something as simple as that, but let's take this a stage further and let's actually get a breathing practice, okay? So whenever you feel a little bit stressed or a little bit overwhelmed or feel like things are running away from you, just stop. Really fill your lungs through your nose and back out again. Okay, starts with this, but then we can go into what's called box breathing, which is breathing in for four seconds, hold for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds, hold for four seconds, and just repeat. And that repetition of that breathing exercise will start to calm your nervous system and get you into a more relaxed state, which allows you to then think better, okay? Because your brain chemistry then starts to change and we get all the blood flow going back into the thinking part of the brain rather than the reactive part of the brain, that part we all, we've all been there when we have a stressful day and you're like, ah, oh, I just want a glass of wine, I just want to have a takeaway or I just want some chocolate. And it's this reactive part that we want to try and come away from and into the thinking part. So something like box breathing can really help with that, okay? So again, that doesn't cover all your, the, the lifestyle factors, but it's one simple thing that you can do today. Next, what we've got is your exercise, okay? Now, one simple thing for your exercise, okay, again, this doesn't encompass all, but kettlebell swings. A kettlebell swing can be a technical movement, but it doesn't have to be, okay? As long as it's safe, as long as your spine stays straight, as long as you are maintaining good form, strong core, and you're working hard at it. A kettlebell swing is a power exercise. You should be swinging up with power, and all the power comes from your glutes and your hamstrings at the back of the legs, okay? It's not an arm exercise, it's a hip exercise. The arms are just an extension of that, okay? So focus on that one thing, and you can create a simple program that doesn't have to take long at all, okay? Simply simplifying it as much as we possibly can, and that is, let's say you're going to do 100 swings with the maximum weight that you normally lift, okay? So for a female, we normally recommend about an eight kilogram. For guys, we recommend 12 kilograms. What would it take for you to do 100 swings with power? How many sets would it take you? Would you do five sets of 20? Or can you go for a straight 100? 
doesn't really matter what it is, it's a simple little program that's going to fire up your metabolism, it's going to fire up your muscles, and it's going to get you feeling pretty good afterwards. Now, if you want to then continue that session and do a little bit longer than just a couple of minutes of exercise, then great, go and do it. But this is all about simplifying things and knowing that you can do something regardless of what time you've got available. Okay, something really simple that is going to be effective, it's going to not just trigger your body, but trigger your mind and your heart as well to say, I can do more, I can keep going with this. That's the key. Okay, and then some, lastly, we've got your nutrition. Okay, what one simple thing can you do with your nutrition that makes everything else easier? That's the question you want to be asking. Okay, yes, there's different types of protein powders and there's supplements coming out your ears sometimes, there's so many. Yes, and there's counting macros and counting calories and understanding how to balance all the nutrients. And it's like it's too much information if off the get-go, okay? If you are a little bit stressed, not too sure where to start, then with your nutrition, just think, okay, can I eat one ingredient foods, just normal food? If I can find it, hunt it, forage for it, catch it, if you can go in nature and get that thing, then that should be on your on your menu, okay? Yes, we're not counting calories, we're not looking at protein, fats, and carbohydrates, but at this stage, it really doesn't matter. What matters is that you're taking it easy on yourself, and you say, right, how can I simplify this? Has it got more than one ingredient? Is this processed at all? Now, I'm not saying never have processed food. All I'm saying is the majority of your diet should not be, okay? You should be making meals from scratch with one ingredient foods. If you can do that, honestly, you can't go far wrong, okay? So, one ingredient foods, kettlebell swing, 100 swings, okay, gets you going. And simply breathe better. Now, of course, this is just three things that I've picked out my backside and I'm just throwing them at you. There are many other ways of simplifying things, but when you get there, when you eventually manage to do all of that, you start to build up these habits in time because again, this is not an overnight fix. This is building up of habits and hit that sweet spot and that's where the magic lies. That's where you get your results. Okay, this is exactly what we teach our members. It is about exercise is important, nutrition is important, lifestyle is important, hormones and stress levels are important, but that's why we're there as your coaches. You've also got all the members to then help you along the way. That's what we love most about our membership is that community spirit is awesome and it's easier to create that.